Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Ty, and welcome to my top 9 favorite moments of the past year. The only reason I'm doing moments from the past year is because that is the last time I did a video like this. Anyways, it's been a great year. I had a great time playing and showing you guys my footage. Met some great people. All in all, just a great experience. So here it is guys, my top 9 moments of the past year. I'm new! I'm new, I don't know what to do! Alright, so at number 9, we have the funnest way to gear up. This video is not PvP filled like most of my videos are. It was just one of them times messing around on the coast, not thinking anything will come of it, and I thought it turned out pretty epic. Pretty much I was a fresh spawn just yelling stuff in direct chat. Until I hear people talking at the PD, I go and uh, try and make friends with the people in the PD, and when they least expect it, I do this. Yeah, it's hard for all the dead bodies, it's just people are real assholes. But they just don't know that you can't kill, you can't knock out somebody if they have a helmet on. Okay. I just got restrained. Got it. Wait, do you need help? Yeah, can you come over here real fast? Okay, wow. Yeah, hurry up, William, come knock this bitch out. Like three dead bodies, I can't walk over him. What the hell? I'm, I'm, oh I'm not God. used to this. Really? Dude. I Sorry, you know, the apocalypse. The story behind this video is pretty interesting, I thought, and it's just one of those things that only happens in DayZ. I met a kid who was wearing stuff similar to me. I called him my twinsie, and we embarked on a great journey. After recording this, I knew I wanted to make it into a story with some narration, but I'm not really good at stuff like that, so I wrote a little script and sent it to Wolverine60FPS and asked him if uh, he would narrate it for me, and to my surprise, he did. And I just thought this video came together great, and this definitely will always be one of my favorites. Twinsy? Twinsy! I love you, dude. I'm so sorry. There's someone around here, though. I'm gonna get him. This video is just on here because of all the fun I had recording it. Pretty much the story to it is Pissed Off had invited Chetnik and all of us to attend an event where no guns were allowed, only bow and arrows. This was my first time doing something like this and hopefully not my last. The bow and arrows definitely made for some interesting PvP and I was lucky enough to get a few kills along the way. My team ended up winning but my game crashed as we were chasing the last guy so unfortunately I didn't get that part recorded. But still a great experience nonetheless. The one up on the dirt road. I got, I got someone. I got someone else. I chose this for number six because it was the start of my love for PVPing up at Michigan Tents. It was one of like the first big battles I've had up there. Not to mention I got to Avenge the Wolf. Not really a story-driven video, but uh, like the PVP, I think, speaks for itself. Hey, room, got the. Hacker Justice is number 5 because at the time I recorded this, public servers were just flooded with hackers, dupers, you know, etc. And I managed to kill a few of them and wanted to put this video up just to show that, you know, these assholes can, they can be killed. For a long time, this was uh, one of my most viewed videos and I'm pretty sure it was because at the time people were just fed up with the hackers and they wanted to maybe see some of them get killed in game, I'm not sure. Or maybe it's just because I had the word hacker and I don't know. And <laughs> hopefully this is something we won't have to worry about anymore in Daisy. Get it, huh? Where at? Where at? He's just on the other side of this wall, on the other side of this wall. He was like fucking TPing, dude, hard. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got him. You oh, fucking hacking God. piece of shit. You are the worst of the fucking worst, you s cunt. This is the only mod footage to uh, hit this list. Again, it was just one of those times you really don't expect anything to happen from it, but then all of a sudden, all shit breaks loose. The story to this one is, I was playing Overpock with my friend Christian, and this was the first time I played in I think like 4 or 5 months, you know, maybe longer. So at the Northwest Airfield, we got sniped at from a base, and Christian basically told me, yeah, this guy's always, you know, gear sniping 
down on people who just spawn in, blah, blah, blah. Because on Dead Cell, you can spawn in at the Northwest Airfield. But anyway, so that kind of drove me to try and kill this guy. After uh, managing to do so, we decided to try and get in his base. But getting in his base wasn't the problem. Getting out seemed to be the problem because all the doors were locked and I was like a million feet from the ground. Then I remember seeing in an old Frankie video, he jumps from the bridge on Taviana down to a car and just gets like knocked out. So I decided I decided to try that for myself and uh, Christian went to bash and got a bus. I jumped and to both of our surprise, we, we made it out alive. Not with much gear. Not much gear at all, but knowing justice had been served uh, on those base campers. This video was a long time in the making, it seemed. Me and Astro pretty much had the idea to go and jump as much stuff as we could right when the off-road and uh, sedan were brought into the game. And like 543 cars later, this was the result. And no, we really didn't use 543 cars, but it was it was a lot of cars. I can promise you guys that it was a lot of cars. Paul, don't get stuck on the ledge again. Yes. Oh man. Oh. I'm Paul. This is Jasper, and uh. We're gonna kill you. I chose this for number two, not just because it was a great story and we got some great clips. I chose it because it was the start of something awesome that Asher and I came up with. And that, of course, is our alter ego characters of Paul and Jasper. We really just started doing this because of boredom. And it turned out to be, you know, a lot, a way bigger part of my channel than I would ever expect. There's my dog shaking. There are so many people that know us because of these characters and for some reason I think that's the coolest thing. But the video just has a great story of two brothers battling it out until the end and I can't wait to make more adventures with Paul and Jasper. Hey, he's got a gun! Ah! Hey, he's got a gun! Ah! Mystery. Number one definitely has to be the Bonded by Survival slash Brothers of Daisy series. And if you follow my channel, I'm sure you would probably assume that this would be number one. It's not only number one because we met someone, you know, big in the Daisy community, and that being, of course, Minder. That's just, you know, the icing on top. It is because of the story we created and how it just translated to video so well. Not to mention that Astro Wolf, Savage, Chetnik, they were all there to experience this with me and it just made it all the better knowing my friends were there with me. The first day we played with Mondra, it lasted a good 8 hours or so, and I think it lasted so long just because the story kept progressing and we kept meeting new people and defeating enemies and it, it just really came together. But the real treat came after the first day of recording the series when Mondra messaged Wolf on Twitter and was like, Yo, I want to keep this story going, you know, can we do this what, next Wednesday? I think we were doing it on Wednesdays for a little bit. And before we knew it, you know, it was just a weekly thing. And it's just kind of crazy to be recognized as a part of, you know, being a part of that series that's on his channel. But uh, yeah, this is definitely the series that helped my channel grow and become more known. And I owe a lot of that to the people that were in the series with me, you know, Wolf, Astro, Savage, and of course, Minder, Chetnik, all you guys. So a big thanks to all you guys. But towards the end of 5.9, we took a little break from the series, but we have been recording new stuff on the new uh, Daisy Underground European server, so you guys definitely will have some fresh content to uh, look forward to. If you can get a lick shot, Microphone that's awesome. Microphone if you can't, go for the kill. Okay? Alright guys, you guys made it. That's it for the countdown. I hope you guys enjoyed. I... I always do enjoy doing stuff like this, although I don't do it much. It's just fun reminiscing of old times and stuff like that. But before I leave you guys, I wanted just to give you guys an update on what's been going on in my world. So you probably noticed before this video went up, I haven't posted in a month or so, and I really can't tell you how sorry I am for that. I just really wish I could give you guys a new video, you know, every day, but I've just been so busy with life, and for those of you who don't know, I've said this like a million times, but... 
I travel out of town for work and that's usually like Monday to Thursday or even sometimes Friday. And that leaves me with the weekend, which is definitely enough time to get videos edited and published and stuff. But lately, my luck hasn't been too good in DayZ. Uh, I'm not sure about if you guys want to see other games being played on my channel. So that's just some you know things I've been thinking about. Maybe I'll make a video just explaining that and seeing what you guys want to see in the future. But anyway, with that being said, thank all of you who have stuck around. It really does mean the world. I think after this video, shortly after this video is published, we should be at 900 subscribers, so that is just amazing, guys. 100 away from 1,000, which is just way more than I ever thought when I started doing this channel. So, once again, thank you guys. So, thank you guys for watching. Please be sure to hit that like button and leave a comment letting me know what you guys thought of the countdown and if there's anything that you thought I missed. Also, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing for more DayZ content, just like the videos you've seen on this countdown. That's it for me, guys. May you all rest in peaches. It's got a load to kill you. I, I <laughs>